Yo, 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 big kiss back up in here. Let's see what DJ Vlad and Marlon Wayne's got going on, man. Y'all know it's supposed to be a big argument with them going on battling or, or, or on Twitter or, or the internet, wherever they was at. But, but man, the, the culture vulture is, is, is back outside, man. He's back. He's back doing what he does. You know what I'm saying? He's back milking the game. You know what I mean? And he tried to milk the OG Marlon Wayans. You know what I'm saying? The, the comedy OG Marlon Wayans. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to see, man. This brother do a beautiful breakdown. Y'all know KB goes live, man. He, he, stay, he stay bringing it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave a link in the description as well. But y'all know I don't like holding y'all. Without further ado, let's get, get, get it. All right, so we got to talk about DJ Vlad, better known to the world as DJ Vladimir Putin. This man has an ego <laughs> the size of Clifford the Big Red Dog when you love him too much. Vlad has a pretty substantially sized platform on YouTube, right, where he does a bunch of... He, he, ooh, he got the subscribe, boy. Yeah, hey, look, if y'all subscribe to me like that, see, see Vlad ain't going to give y'all no bread. He ain't going to give y'all no giveaway. He ain't going to give y'all no giveaway. See, if y'all subscribe to me like that, then, then we could, you know what I'm saying? We all could be eating. But y'all, nah. Some of y'all just want to sit back and watch. Can't even press a button, man. Come on, man. So we can get to this giveaway now. Bunch of interviews, and some of them are good. Some of them are not so great. But over the years, he's built up a substantial platform. Over 5 million, almost 6 million subscribers. And while his subscribers grew, so did that ego. DJ Vlad basically thinks he's Oprah. Like, it's a privilege to be on his <laughs> show. But him and Marlon Wayans just got into a back and forth. And Marlon just reminded him that he ain't no Oprah. He's more like Mari. So DJ Vlad reached out to Marlon Wayans. He said, hey, man, we want to get you on the show. We want to sit down and do an interview with you. And apparently Vlad thought that he was going to get this Marlon Wayans interview for the price of a Happy Meal. But when he reached out, he <laughs> found out that for the price of a Happy Meal. <laughs> bro, <laughs> this dude, mad entertaining, bro. Y'all go subscribe to KB Live. Goes live, bro. He, he official, bro. Marlon actually wanted a pretty hefty fee to appear on DJ Vlad's platform and he told him hey bro if you want me to sit down and have a combo with you that's gonna cost you $40,000 and this sent Vlad into a Twitter meltdown where he tried to call Marlon out he tried to belittle Marlon Wayans he tried to downplay who Marlon was and what he's done in media over the last 30 years and pretty much what it boils down to is DJ Vlad wanted to make some money off of Marlon Wayans story marlon waynes was like i want to make some money off of my story too so here goes the price and vlad was like bro how dare you if y'all don't know who that is that's my son he, he used to battle rap back in the day i was somebody said a bar it was like don't be giving me all that lip you my son <laughs> bro that was hard y'all let me know if y'all heard that bar who, who said it insinuate that you should make more money off of your story than me so he started running interview questions in interviews with people getting their reaction to marlon wayne's asking for forty thousand dollars for an interview and in these clips dj vlad is basically like marlon is crazy nobody's ever gonna pay him that much money to do an interview and yada 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 and this prompted people to start tweeting about the situation so we got this tweet right here that says marlon wayne's you a good one because dj Vlad would have to pay me 500000 for an interview with 55% of all revenue made from the video on all platforms. And Marlon Wayne's responded to that and said, see, I tried to tell him I was giving him a deal. Oh, well. And this tweet is what sparked DJ Vlad to start talking about Marlon Wayne's on Twitter and led into this meltdown where he gets absolutely roasted by Marlon. So DJ Vlad posts up this screenshot right here. That is basically a screenshot of YouTube and interviews that Marlon Wayne has done recently and he posted this so that he could show the view count 132,000 views 315,000 views and 230,000 views and with that he said Marlon Wayans found someone with 200 followers to agree with him lol nobody on earth is gonna pay Marlon 40k man he talking shit man telling you man some people look at you as a straight dollar obviously Marlon got something that he want he reached out to him 
for an interview when he gets 100 to 300,000 views on any platform he interviews on. This guy is really delusional. Now, Marlon responded to that and said, you mad? You unprofessional, my guy. If you don't like the number, keep it moving. You look bad. You should fall back. Mad at a black man stating his number. And now you go public and use your platform to try to drag me. I never in my life dealt with this silly negotiating tactic. And Vlad swung back at that statement like a rookie boxer in his first match and said not mad at all i find this all amusing because you really think that you're worth forty thousand dollars for an interview i said there's nobody on earth that will pay you that and i have yet to be proven wrong throwing out a stupid ass number for an interview is unprofessional my guy because your interviews don't even make five percent of that on every platform you do and bringing up race when there was no mention of it throughout all of our discussions shows how weak of a man you really are and i gotta stop vlad right there because how the fuck does vlad know what Marlon Wayans was paid by all them other people he did interviews with. Maybe they did pay him $40,000, Vlad. You ain't got back end data on all them different channels. You have no idea. First off, second off, telling somebody that they're not worth a number that in your head you think they're not worth is absolutely crazy, especially when you know damn well you're going to take those videos, you're going to clip them up. You're not just going to post the one interview like all the other platforms did. Now you're going to take Hey, you best believe Vlad get all his money, bro. He, 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 che look, he, listen, you know how you'll be eating chicken and you'll just eat the meat off the bone and, you know, that's it. Some people eat the gristle and all of that. Nah, he get down to the marrow. He'll blend the bone up. Eat that. Eat all of it. Take it, you're going to make 60 different clips out of it that will each do 100,000 views, and then you'll post a full interview. We all know that that's how Vlad works. He tries to maximize the profit that he can make off of hip-hop culture, off up, of black buddy. culture in general, strategy. right? So let's do the math on that real quick. On YouTube, you get paid for every 1,000 views that you do. Now, it varies from channel to channel math. how much money people make per 1,000 views, but let's just go with a low-ball average of $5 per 1,000 views. And keep in mind, I'm a YouTuber. I'm pretty familiar with what YouTube pays per thousand views so let's go with the low ball number and say you make five dollars per thousand views let's say you get i don't even know how many clips you would get out of it let's go look at your little boosie interview the last one that you did which it looks like it was this one from may of this year you had 31 clips that you put out from this interview plus the full interview itself all right so let's go back over to our handy dandy calculator you got 31 clips let's say each of them do a hundred thousand views on average because that's what vlad said marlon wayans does about a hundred to 300,000 views, right? So let's just go with 100,000 views. Again, we're going to low buy it. We're going to times that by 30 videos, right? That what kind of program he using right here? What's that? Anybody know what program this is? Y'all let me know. It means in total, you're going to do probably about 3 million views on that. Now you get paid for every thousand views that you get on Looks YouTube, like right? So you divide the 3 million by a thousand because that's how many views it takes to get paid. And that means you're going to get paid 3,000 times about an average. Remember, this is low ball of $5 per thousand views. So times that number by five. And that means you're going to make about 15,000 bucks on the low end just from those interviews. If you get a high rate of pay per thousand views, let's say 12 dollars then you'll make about thirty six thousand dollars on this interview and that means you'll take about a four thousand dollar loss which isn't bad if you're really doing the interviews because you want people to be aware of people's stories taking a small loss on this to get a big interview that's not that bad but claiming that you're not ever going to make close to that money back is absolutely ridiculous because you 100 percent will so i had to stop him right there just to go over the numbers with y'all because vlad is claiming and let me add on to this too YouTube is an investment game. Just because you dropped the video and you, you let's just say you got all you, you what you thought you had in the first week or the second week and, the, you know, the views start to dwindle or whatever. That's joint still accumulating views over time. You know what I'm saying? So say if a channel getting bigger and bigger, all those videos you did, that's an investment because new people are going to binge watch. They're going to binge watch and you still going to get views off your old stuff. So 
you know, it don't end right there. Man, oh, there's no way I'll ever get my money back. When the truth is, he could lose a little. He could make a little. It all depends on how long the interview is, how many clips he puts out, and if any of them go viral. Remember, we did that math based on 100,000 views per clip. Some of them clips may do three, four, five 500,000 views. So Vlad 100% could have paid that money to Marlon and he could have recouped his money. No question about it. Because if any of those clips do two, three, four hundred thousand, suddenly you're going from making, you know, 36,000 off of the interview to making 50, 60, 70,000 off of the interview. But making 30 or 40,000 bucks from interviewing somebody for Vlad, that's just not good enough. The profit margin ain't high enough. He needs more. And that's why people don't like Vlad because Vlad is all about using his platform platform to profit off of the culture it's why he sends copyright strikes to creators when they repost his videos and i'm getting a little bit off a of topic here but in fact while i was looking for information on this marlon wayne's topic i actually came across this tweet where somebody said that they reposted a clip of akon doing an interview on vlad tv and vlad sent over this we don't allow our content to be reposted please remove it in the next hour or we will be filing a copyright strike they didn't listen and he sent a thing over this said strike filed even though hey, yeah i'm telling you Vlad go get all his tokens, bro. Look, if I clip something for Vlad, like say for a reel or a short like that, I gotta put music or uh, you gotta put loud music around it. You gotta clip it up with though that the copyright tool don't match exactly what he got. Yeah, you gotta do a lot, a lot for Vlad. Oh, most people that are reposting his clips are doing it under what's called fair use, which is a law. It's a doctrine that allows people to use other people's content if they're transforming it in some way. Vlad don't care. He'll copyright strike anybody. And one day that's going to bite him in his ass because all it takes is for somebody to go to court, do the fair use claim, and Vlad will never be able to do this to people again. But it's just another way that Vlad Ooh, maximizes people, his uh, profit yeah. off of the culture is what I'm getting at. So I got a little sidetracked with that. But I was just drilling home that point of how Vlad actually sees the culture that he's using to profit off of. He sees it as just that, a culture that he could just profit off of. But anyways, back to what we were talking about. So Vlad responded to him, said, man, how dare you bring up race when I didn't even mention it throughout any of our conversations? And Marlon responded to that and said, so yes, this has become about race. You trying to turn us into crabs in a barrel. I see your angle now. I watched you play your hand. You want us to talk shit, beef, and tear each other down while you sit back and make money. Meanwhile, you don't even show your face and Vlad responded he said not only do I show my face but when I do interviews on the same platforms as you more than twice as many people watch here are the actual views when we did the breakfast club one month apart you reached your peak 20 years ago and have been on a decline ever since there's nothing wrong with that but you seem to think that this is still 2004 I've been dropping facts with actual numbers this entire time and all you could do is play he's so happy he's so happy I get more views than you <laughs> I'm better than you because I'm up here and you're down there. Man, these numbers don't mean a thing, bro. We all, man, everybody's the same, bro. Play the lame ass race card in response so keep looking in the mirror and lying to yourself about who you think you are the numbers don't back it up and he posted this screenshot where he did 700,000 views on the breakfast club and marlon wayans did 291,000 views on the breakfast club but the breakfast club is a hip-hop platform marlon wayans is not hip-hop he's an actor dj vlad does hip-hop he interviews hip-hop artists that's what he does so one of course you did more views on that particular platform because it was more targeted towards your niche and two how in the hell you back basically go get on here and call somebody irrelevant when you're the one That's that was begging them for an interview like make it make sense bruh anyways marlon responded to this he said i see why you don't show your face it's ugly that ugly ass beard don't even <laughs> look real you look like you're in disguise it looked like you take that stuff on and off like mr potato head <laughs> yeah, giddy marlon he then said see at dj vlad this is the moment you've been begging for i asked you to leave me alone let it go but you want to kick a bee's nest you can't compete with me bro i am a legend and occasionally i'll come off the throne to spar with peons like you keep going there's levels to this you a culture vulture we all know this and i would tell all my people don't mess with you period don't watch nothing you put out you feed off dividing and exploiting black people and artists you are divisive and bad for our community y'all remember lord jamar and godfrey was always on vlad but they came to their senses like, yo, why are we giving him all this money? Lord Jamar and, 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 uh, 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 and Godfrey used to do numbers. They used to get numbers. He used to always have them up there. They said, oh, hell no, man. They got their own podcast, bro. You could do, yo, 
even even y'all with jobs and stuff like that, if you put your mind to it, you can do your own thing, bro. You can do your own thing. You just got to put in a little bit more work. Here's why your platform is beneath me. I am a legend, bro. And that's just the beginning. And he posted a screenshot of how much money he's made in the box office, which is over $1.1 billion just domestically, which means in the United States and over $1.8 billion in the global box office, which I don't care what Vlad thinks he's done in his life. He has never generated a billion dollars in anything in his life. So Marlon has a pretty valid point right here. Uh. Hey, DJ Vlad, how you you go from this to this turkey and then he says hey dj vlad my entire community is allergic to you you a gluten ass muff then he said hey dj vlad you are way too hated by the urban community to with me i'm loved you ain't watched the video where's your face mad that you oh, couldn't these are these all the videos why black celebrities would never respect vlad why black celebrities would never yeah Damn. Yeah, these the videos people be making about Vlad. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Vlad. Y'all like Vlad? Exploit me. How much the government paying you, Brody? Hope it's at least $40,000. So at the end of the day, what we got here is we've got Vlad TV, DJ Vlad, Vladum22 telling Marlon <laughs> Waynes that he ain't worth $40,000, that his career has been on the decline for years. DJ Vlad is telling somebody that. Nah, we for sure live in the matrix, bro. DJ Vlad will probably never accomplish anything even close to as legendary as the things that the Wayne family has put out but marlon wayne by himself as well y'all gotta think about all of the classics that marlon wayne gave us that you talking about don't be a menace to south central while drinking your juice in the hood you talking about the wayne's brother tv show that came on tv a long time ago a lot of us grew up on that i know i did that we're brothers we're happy and we're singing it with colors do 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 give me a high five and cut the joke. Fresh Prince, it was a bunch of them. Martin, y'all know the shows I'm talking about. The Wayne's Brothers show was one of them shows. Classic. No matter what DJ Vlad does for the rest of his career, he'll never put something out as classic as that. Let alone all of the other things that Marlon Wayne has accomplished in his life. And it just struck me as odd because you got DJ Vlad, of all the people in the world, upset because he would have to pay a hefty fee to interview arguably one of the biggest black actors on the planet. And Vlad tried to stand behind this stance of I would lose money if I paid that much, bro. But as a YouTuber, I'm telling y'all, Vlad would have made money even paying $40,000 for it, bro. He probably would have doubled his money. Yeah, but that wasn't good enough for money. Vlad. Vlad wanted more. That's why I don't mess with Vlad. Because Vlad is that type of person. It's why I don't never put none of his clips on my channel. It's why I don't really cover any of the stories he's involved in. Because of this type of behavior right here. Every time somebody applies pressure back to Vlad, he shows everybody exactly who he is and how he thinks about the people that he invites on his show when they're cooperating with him when they're doing what vlad wants them to do they're best friends hell you might even be a reoccurring guest but the moment you ain't doing what dj vlad wanted you to do or you ain't moving the way he wanted you to he shows you exactly who he is and when people show you who they are believe them but yeah man that's basically hey i used to always watch vlad i ain't see a vlad interview in so long I say, I say about a year. I used to always watch Vlad though. The uh 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 um two X, what's his name? Two X, the one who got locked up. All them, you know, all them New York rappers and all that used to be on Vlad. See, I used to, I used to watch him just to see what's going on. Especially like Fredro Star up there, you know, Onyx, one of my favorite groups. Wu Tang, one of my favorite groups when he had You God up there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Vlad, man. Big Kish signing out. I'm gone.